Good morning from Area 51 Raceway. We're going to do some detailing on the uh, Purple Pontiac. So come join us. So, welcome to the bench at Area 51 Raceway. So what we're doing here today is we are just uh, doing small details to our body before we clear it. Uh, my wife found this pen, and they make them in gold and silver, at the dollar store. And uh, believe it or not, this works real well. <laughs> I decided to do a little gold uh, on this, and that's what I used. I just used this pen and just press lightly and just follow the line is all I did with this. And you know, there there it is right there. That's what it looks like. And uh, not bad for a dollar pen, you know, a dollar store marker. This is like a, a ink metal, you know, a paint marker. It's a metallic gold pen marker. And I looked at these at Hobby Lobby and they were like seven, eight bucks, real expensive for, you know, the other ones. But this actually did the job for a dollar so. They have them in silver too, so if you go to the dollar store, you could pick these up, and you could do this. Now, going on to the more expensive pen, as you can see, I did the wiper blades, and this is the uh, Flicy Chrome Paint Marker pen, and this one's a little bit more expensive, but it it does it is a little bit worth it because what's nice about this is that you could actually do your trimming here, so you could see I'm putting more paint on here, just as an example. I already did enough, and I just chrome these out. That's pretty cool that you could do that. And this one makes it nice that you could do your window sills if you want to do them chrome. Like for example, if I want to do this, and I could probably let me see. And all I could do really is just lightly go over the top of it like this. See, I'm just doing that, just barely just dragging it on the top like that. And uh, you could just fill it in just like that, just on the window sills. All you do is just marking the line. Of course, when you get down to the bottom here, you got to be careful. Yeah, you're gonna see me make a mistake. I'll make one right on camera. Uh, it's probably as low as I could go because I think the fat part of the marker is gonna <laughs> make a mess, but. And there you go, I mean, it's that easy. There's nothing real difficult. Take your time, and this adds a little bit of depth to the to the car, of course. It's nice to have a little, you know, chromey stuff on there. And um, that's that part right there, and then you could just do it too, which originally all these were chrome on the Pontiacs, obviously, because this was the years of the 60s where everything was just all chromed out. And you can just either chrome this part, go carefully here, and leave the rest purple, however you want to do it. There's different ways you could do things, however you feel is uh, where you want your model to go. Just like that. Come up here. And concentrate there just like that and uh, you can fill it in too looks like that see there's your chrome side window along with your window sills really makes the car look nice and then when you clear this you know you don't have to worry about it being rubbed off but there you go that's that's a way to detail here and there and uh, of course, we have chrome bumpers. We talk about black wash. Black wash. I really like black wash a lot. It really 
enhances like grills and stuff I mean, this is what the static monitor guys use you can see how nice that looks and then when this thing gets clear it's going to look even better because it's going to enhance everything and uh again you go around the front window if you want up top here which i'll probably do and they're on the bottom here it's endless ways you could do it it's just you know these are nice or if you want to go with a dollar chrome you could use the uh, dollar store solar one which it's in my wife's desk she let me she told me about these uh she was doing a sign i was like hey where'd you get that and she's like i got these at the dollar store <laughs> i was pretty impressed by it because for a dollar i mean come on it's it's you know i'm not saying this there's obviously you get what you pay for this is a little bit more expensive obviously like seven or eight bucks because it's got more chromey to it but they have a, a duller silver one that works pretty decent and uh would give it more of a dull look if you want for a dollar <laughs> it's better than using a brush i mean you could use a brush or those applicators that i showed you earlier on the video on another video but I, it seems like the pen works pretty good because you're able to just follow the lines almost touch that this stuff will dry like in about 10 15 minutes but i would suggest just be careful touching it while it's wet and it you know again it makes the car gives you more depth in the model and more detail and i'll go over it again and get a little bit more on there i mean it's it's something that um, really helps out when you're building your scratch build cars and you're making like you know any type of you know either um actual livery of a car or a uh, how would you say a uh, just a one you're just building to just have numbers on it now there's another thing i do uh, have also that uh, i could suggest and there are these stickers they're from sticko they're at hobby stores and they're, they're numbers you don't have to buy a whole sheet of like letters but they do have numbers and these are pretty big not that I would use it on these ones, but it's nice big red letters. Or you can get something for 132nd scale, and this has numbers on it right there. It's just a sheet right here, it'll tell you. It just tells you everything. These are like um, inches, one inch, I think, or maybe half an inch. Good for like 132nd if you want to just use the numbers. <clears throat> then they may also make chrome and gold. And uh, this car right here, I want to make more of a purple and gold theme. Wish I could get some royal purple decals for the oil royal purple because i do use royal purple on my gto it'd be cool to kind of like put some royal purple emblems if i could find any but uh just this from again from uh the uh, sticko company and you can get these on amazon sticko stickers they're called you can see how reflected these are it's kind of cool for you know under i'd say about 10 bucks maybe less i can't remember right now at the moment they make silver too in different colors but it's an alternative if you want you want to just get something simple instead of using something i know um there's another company that i use also for decals and they're off ebay and uh let me show you those ones and these are the, these right here that i've used and they're called ultra ultra cal these are from ebay uh these are really nice uh decals they're stick they're not uh how would you say uh, 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 water water transfer decals these are actual vinyl decals so they're really nicely detailed numbers and that's where I got the name to put on the Ford I took it off of here and it had other cars that I used I've used you know this is Bob's muffler shop and all that with the name of the city or the street and uh, really nice nice decals I mean they're they're really 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 nice and they're easy to put on and apply um, but again, this just alter This is an alternative to numbers also. And uh, of course, you have your water slides. I can say that word. That word at first. <laughs> water decals, water slides. Water slides work real well too. You know, obviously, you take a little bit more time when you do clear water water slide decals. One thing you want to do is really go lightly with your coats of um, of uh, clear, because what happens that that enamel or that lacquer gets hot because you're spraying it if you're spraying it heavy and what it does it'll crinkle the decals and you don't want to do that you want to go super light coats with decals at first with water slide decals with those vinyl ones it shouldn't be an it shouldn't be an issue it should be fairly easy to deal with you know with doing that here's another thing too with like your door handles i need to really cover that so you have your door handles right here and check this out so 
undo your door handles. All you do is just, just like this. And then chrome door handles. And you got it. Chrome door handles and the little keyhole here. Just dab it on. I'm trying to do it nightly so I don't make a mess. And there you go. Just like that. See? And it's not too difficult. And uh, you got yourself a nicely detailed car here. I mean, you clear this, it'll look really nice. You know, once I get my numbers on and stuff, too. <laughs> and this car is more difficult to put numbers on. As you can see, it's got the high and low spots, it's not flat like the Ford because of the the way this car was actually designed with the, uh, you know, the uh, side uh, molding and stuff. So when you place your decals, especially vinyl, you just got to make sure you rub it down and then cover it. I'll probably put a number over this and uh should look pretty cool. But, um... There again, you know, just there's take your time with doing this, and again, you can do the trim in the back here. You can see, and that's just gonna really give the car a really nice uh, touch to it. You know, just something uh, a little different. So that's uh, just wanted to cover that with everyone. And uh, here we go. We're going on to the front grills. Here's another example. So we have Vallejo Black Wash. So we want to add depth to the grill. So. What I'm trying to say is, check and see if my mic's on. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is that, yeah, you could let it go all chromey and stuff. I mean, if you want to go ahead, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But uh, if you want to add some depth to this, like I mean depth, meaning that some, you know, color and some detail level, you just get some black wash. And let me get myself from the camera. And you see how I'm just going along the lines here? And I'm using this little applicator from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just adding some black into in between the grills because the cars, you know, had that little black coloring to it in between the grills, just like this. And you see how that adds the depth to it? Quite a difference you can see there. Maybe not much in light. Let me back up the camera. But, um, you could see it right there and then you just keep adding it along here if you could see the lines I'm putting in there black lines and again this is black wash you could wipe it off of your finger it's not like a uh, how would you say a permanent you know paint it's water-based paint lightly washed down it's kind of like a wash and you're just adding the little grill lines and this applicator is perfect because it's really just sinking into those grooves where I want it to be and uh, it's adding just like that I don't know if you can see that but see how you can see the black in there that's pretty damn cool because now this is pretty much set and then you could uh, clear this and uh, you could, you know, clear it up and be done with it. And, you know, you could paint your emblem red there and not. But you could see how that adds it on there. That really looks really nice. And that gives you a lot of depth on that grill. Just like that. See the black lines there? Get closer here. And uh, zoom in. You can see all the black lines there got some depth to this grill and it looks like the grill that you know uh, came from the factory Let me put a little bit more here oops there. Uh, let me get a little bit more here because I can see I need some more here and uh, just like that not not very difficult to do and I'm showing you this because like I said you get some black wash from Amazon, these applicators from Hobby Lobby. You could also get these from Amazon as well. And then you just added some detail to your grill that didn't take that long to do. Very simple. A few minutes and you're done. Glue this on the car. And again, here's the car, which I've detailed more while we were setting up for this shot here. And uh, let me move my camera up. 
and then there's the car. As you can see what I did to the uh, to the you know the lines of chrome. Probably should have done it in gold, but you know what? That's okay. Do a little chrome and gold on there. But uh, but there you go. There's the level of detail that helps you to model out your scratchbook car, and uh, I'll need to kind of go over some things there. But you know what? It, it may not look perfect in some areas. Like there's a little bit that went out there, but I'm not gonna you know kill myself over it. <laughs> it's it it'll look good. Trust me. You're going down the track, you're gonna see it. <laughs> you're gonna see the detail on it, and you get up close as well. But so just thought I'd uh, show you that and then when I put the grill on here you could see how uh, you know how detailed it is like with the way the black wash has been added onto there and uh, again this enhances things you could also do it with the headlights if you want to do the headlights you know the black wash but I, I may color those with paint uh, actually enamel paint excuse me I dropped my little brush and uh, or I mean just you know a little black wash but it's all depend on you but you can see that really adds in there aligns on that really nicely and it looks really cool and it doesn't take much to do uh, I really do like black wash a lot I know I kind of push it a lot on my models but it's just something I can show you guys so you can get a dollar store pen uh, either in silver and gold and get some black wash which isn't very expensive from expensive from Vallejo paint and some applicators you're looking at like maybe about twenty to thirty dollars uh, but you're going to be using a lot of this because <laughs> this stuff that you, you'll have forever amount of this because this stuff is you will go a long way as little as you use it and uh, along with the pens too they can get a lot of them so I uh, thought I'd share this detail stuff here on the Area 51 Raceway and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, as always you take care and have fun racing and please subscribe I'd appreciate it and hit the like button thanks again take care <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.